pop it. Let's get this pop it. Oh my god. Hot? I should just cut this heat off. Hi you guys. Hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys have been doing great. Okay. Um Okay, so I know y'all probably like, so you just gonna come on here and act like you ain't been on here no more than a month. My bad. I'm sorry, you guys. I know I have been doing YouTube videos. I just been like stuck. I just feel like I've been stuck. And, um, but I don't feel like that anymore. <laughs> but I was. I was just feeling stuck. And I did have a lot of videos I wanted to do. I just. I didn't have, it, have the motivation, but I'm back. I'm gonna be back, y'all, okay? So I hope you guys have been doing well. Um, this, as you see, is gonna be a foundation review. And I have seen several women of color, well, it's not a lot of reviews, but it's a couple. And the couple reviews I have seen, I wanted to get this foundation. Their, make, their face looked it flawless with this foundation on, so I'm hoping I like it as well. The light is okay, and I really hope this camera focus right. I hope it focused right. Uh, so I ordered mine off of Ulta.com. I did hear some ladies say you can get it off of Amazon. Um, off of Ulta, I think it was $11.99, if I'm correct. And I got it in a couple of days. So you can order off Ulta if you want. I don't think it's actually in the stores yet. Just so you guys can know, I think. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's in the stores yet. So, of course, this is um, on the Maybelline... Full coverage, uh, super stay foundation. Now I got it in the color three fifty six warm coconut. Now I got warm coconut, um, and then I had cocoa. Now looking at it, I think I maybe should have got cocoa. Maybe you know it looks like it may be a little too light, but then I was thinking like, okay, winter time I do kind of uh, my color changes, so I don't know. But we're going to see how it is. It's supposed to be full coverage foundation. Um, I don't know the claims. Oh, I think it's on the back. Uh, the claims is this full coverage foundation. Up to 24 hours wear. Uh, seamless matte finish. Uh, breathable and comfortable. Fade and transfer resistant. All free. It doesn't clog your pores. Um, and dermatologist tested. Okay. Is $11.99 a good price? I'm not sure until I actually test the product. But to me, $11.99 in a drugstore really is not that bad, I would say. I mean, compared to maybe their, uh, the other Matte Poreless, which you can get that at Walmart for like 6 bucks. So, maybe, yeah, okay, just a little bit. Okay, so I already did my eyes, which I always like to do when I'm about to do my foundation. I'm going to try to wear the foundation for about, um, I think it's 1 o'clock right now, you guys. Yeah, it's 1.30. So I'm going to try to keep it on to like 7.30 or 8-ish, at least 7 hours to see, you know, when I think about it. I had meant to do it earlier, y'all, but I was, you know, busy doing other stuff or whatever. So, yes. Okay, so I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to be using my beauty. Fenty. Fenty? Fenty? I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty um, primer, y'all. You know Up and oh, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like up close, huh? So, that's what it looks like up close. Cute packaging, white top, and it does have a pump. So, I'm gonna use my beauty blender, you guys. That's what it looks like. It is not runny at all, so that lets you know. Use it when a foundation stick to your hand like that. They gotta be some full coverage. <laughs> it's thick or something. Uh, but hopefully, I hope it don't feel like it's thick. So let's get it good. It looks a little light, y'all. A little light. I think I should have got mocha. Um, it doesn't really have a scent. No, I don't think so. No, not really. 
So I'm gonna use my beauty blender. you guys because I feel like this is it ain't even that I feel like it's light I feel like it's very orange like it just seems very orange they do have another one called um, just cocoa instead of not me coconut it's just coconut instead of warm coconut um I don't know if I'm gonna try that one and and see but for now we're going to do this for the review blend in my neck you know you gotta blend on the neck um i think it doesn't look too bad the color with my chest what y'all think i don't know i might still get mocha mix it in together i don't i do not like to buy two foundations so it's kind of bummer but what i'm gonna do is let it sit maybe at that contour do my little highlight and all that it might not even look too bad to me i really think it's not that bad Hmm. I don't know, but it feels like nothing's on my face. I'm serious, y'all. Keeping it real with y'all. This feels like it's nothing on my face. The coverage is great. Um, yeah, the coverage is really good. It looks like skin. <laughs> I'm silly, y'all. I don't know what it's like on this camera, but in my face, it looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup, you guys. I don't know. I might just speed through it. You know, I don't want it to be too long. And then when I finish, we'll be back. Okay, you guys. So I'm back. I finished my full face. Um, what I'm going to do is come back in about so, six or seven hours to show y'all what it looks like. And hopefully it still looks good. <laughs> I think I am going to get um, a darker shade because I think this is too light. Baby, this too light. It looked too light on me. <laughs> I think it looked too light. He plays too much. So anyway, I'm going to get the dark and shade, y'all. But I'm going to come back, let y'all know what I think about it. So we'll be yeah, back. So I'm back to do the review on the foundation. Um, I put this foundation on about six. Let's see. Let's see what time it is. It is... 7:41. Okay, so and I put my foundation on about one. Yeah, so about six hours and 20 minutes or so. I have left the house. I have ran some errands. I have been moving around. Now it isn't hot right now, so this is a review, not based off of like humid weather. So right now it's been really cool down here, so I can't really base it off of that. The Maybelline site is showing, I thought somebody said it had 20 shades, but I'm not seeing 20. I only see 16, so I don't know if that's true or not. I'm on the Maybelline site. Um, but they do have about one, two, three, four, five, about, about six deep shades that can work for women of color. The deepest shade is Truffle. I got the shade Warm Coconut. Um, then coconut is before that. So if I would have got coconut, it probably would have been lighter, it looks like. And then after warm coconut is coconut. I mean, <laughs> after warm coconut is mocha and then truffle. Um, thinking about getting mocha, maybe. Um, but then, I don't know. I kind of think... Yeah, I'm dropping stuff. 
stuff. These say the claims. Um, we're gonna go over the claims so I can tell y'all what I think about it. Um, they had it on the back of here. It is claiming to be full coverage. Yes, it is. Full, it is. It's full coverage. Like, I don't think it's medium. Like, you know how you say medium middle? No, this is full coverage. Um, it says it wears up to 24 hours. I'm not gonna have no foundation on 24 hours. So I don't know, it, you know, if I can test that for y'all. Uh, but I have had it on six and a half hours and I think it looks pretty good so far. Um, seamless matte finish, yes. It's not, um, it's not a flat matte and it's not, you know, dewy. It's kind of right in the middle of me. Um, breathable and comfortable, yes. Oh my God, it feels like nothing's been on my face all day. Um, fade and transfer resistant. Now, transfer resistant, no. That's a lot. I had on a white shirt earlier. Yeah, I changed shirt. Look, I, I changed this shirt. I changed shirts all day. Um, I had on a white shirt earlier and it was all, all up on there, all up on there. It's not transfer uh, resistant, but, um, fade resistant. Um, I'm looking y'all. I, I think so. I think it's still there. Like, I don't feel like it faded. I don't think when it's something I learned that when it says oil free, that doesn't mean that it's going to stop you from being oily. I think it just means that the formula that they made is not oily. So all the claims are really true. Um, I don't know about the 24 hour one. Like, hey, I hope somebody says that out. That's fine. But I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Um, but yeah, for this six um, and a half mark. Um, so it's almost 8 o'clock and I usually take my makeup around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock if I had a long day. It looks good. It's still there. So I'm going to zoom in. I don't know. My highlight is still there. My contour. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. And when you put something on top of this foundation, it looks really good. I don't know if anybody else said that. But it looks really good. Like, um, so what I'm gonna do is just take a piece of tissue, or you can take a blotting sheet. I don't know what my blotting sheet is, so I'm not gonna look for it. I feel like it's a little shiny. And it's just here, it's like right here above my eyebrow. And I have never got shiny there. I don't know what's going on there. Hey, y'all, I just, that's it. I just took a little tissue. Um, a little bit did transfer on here. So, it does transfer. It's not as bad, like, I don't know. I'm not big on, like, if it transfer or not. It's makeup. Like, even if the foundation is transferred, what if you put a powder on top of it and that powder's not trans? You know, whatever. <laughs> so, it's not, like, a big deal to me. But, uh, other than that, I wasn't really oily. Um, I like it. I really think... Would I say this is a product that you might want to check out? Yes. Now, is it better than the other Maybelline, um, the one they had, the other Superstar? I don't know if you guys know that one had a blue top. This one I think is better than the blue top one. Um, I had the blue top one. The blue top one was good, but not as good as this one. I'm serious. And that's just me. I'm going to be really using this one. Um, I'm still going to probably get Mocha, though. And if I feel like mocha is too dark, I'm just going to mix these two. But even with the color not being what I thought it should be, it, it's really good. Um, yeah. It's a thumbs up for me, y'all. I'm pretty sure this is going to probably be in my favorites. So I'm just letting y'all know. Um, yeah. I really do like it, you guys. So, um, I think that's it. Um, $11.99, you can get on Ulta. I will link below in the description box, you guys. If I forgot anything, let me know. Because I probably did. If I forgot anything. I did I did miss coming and doing videos. That's why I'm talking a lot. So, let me get out this review. Before someone like, this, she talked too much. But that's okay. It's okay. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this review. You guys, uh, go ahead and thumbs it up for your girl. You know, hey, you know, just look little button right there. Just... That's all you gotta do. Tap it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you guys. Share it. And of course, like. Tap that button. I'm childish. Okay, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, loves. Mm -hmm.